Hey everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is second video of this playlist where we are going to learn Prometheus. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can install node exporter on one of the server. And then we are going to configure Prometheus to be able to successfully receive or pull all the data from that server. So here you can see I had two servers. IT Panther 01 is the server where we have installed Prometheus. You can call it Prometheus server. And then we have an application server which is called web app. And now I'm going to install node exporter on web app. First of all, we need to go to download and on the download page, you can scroll down and search for node exporter. And on the node exporter, you can, if you're on Linux, just copy this, copy the link address from this and then go to the server where you want to install this node exporter. So in this case, I'm on this web app server and I'm going to write wget and give the URL of the software which you want to download hit enter and now software is downloaded. So this is the software which has been downloaded and this is right now not uh, uncompressed. So we are going to uncompress it. Let's write tear hyphen xvzf and give the name of the software, hit enter. And now software is uncompressed. Now we can go to this directory by doing cd and now do ls hyphen lrd. And you can see now we have node exporter. Okay, so what we need to do here is let's follow the documentation again. Go to Grafana documentation, and if you scroll down, you can see it is saying you uh, you can run node exporter by writing node exporter hyphen hyphen web listen address, and then you can specify the IP address of the server along with the port on which you want the services to be listening to listening on. So I'm going to copy this. And you need to know the IP address of the server where you have where you are installing node exporter. So if you want to know the IP address, you can write hostname hyphen i, hit enter, it is going to give you the IP address here. Okay, so let's clear the screen once and write hostname hyphen i. So this is the IP address, and now I'm going to copy paste the command which we have used, which we just actually saw in the documentation. I'm sorry, this is not the command. So I guess I need to copy the command again. So I'm just going to copy here and just want to show you which working directory I'm in. So currently I'm in this working directory. Now I'm going to write this command and I'm going to use this IP address. And let's say I want to run these services on port 8081. Okay, so I'm going to write 8081 and hit enter. Now you can see it is saying this is ready and it is listening on IP address and also showing us the port which it is listening on. Okay, so now uh, the node exporter is ready. It has started collecting the data from this server. And now we need to tell Prometheus that Prometheus should be able to now connect to this node exporter to grab all the data. Okay, so for that, again, the configuration is mentioned here. So we need to go to Prometheus server and then we need to add uh, this IP address in the targets. Okay, so let's go to Prometheus server. This is the uh, server where we were running Prometheus. So I'm going to open another session by going to duplicate session and then we need to go to Prometheus folder this is where we are in so we need to modify Prometheus.yml file and here we already have a static config so here I'm just going to copy this line and going to paste this line here again and here we just change the IP address and also the port name. So we need to spe specify IP address and port name of the server where we just installed node exporter. So in this case, it is going to be this IP address and port which I'm copying and we're going to paste it here. And along with target, we can also specify or we can also give some label. So in this case, I'm going to give, uh, let's give label of, let's see the documentation again. So we can also specify labels and under labels, we can give any logical name to this server. Okay. So we don't need this hyphen here. And just follow the syntax, which is mentioned in the documentation. And then uh, you're going to be good. And let's just call it, I'm going to call it web application server. 
or let's call it demo okay that's it we can now save it and exit and now we should be able to uh, we should be able to restart prometheus and then it should be working so this is the uh, place where we started the services so i'm going to press ctrl c in order to stop uh, prometheus services so once you press ctrl c and you stop prometheus services what you can do is you can go to uh, prometheus web server and you can refresh it and you can you should be able to see that this is not working right now because we just stopped the services and now i'm going to start the service again so let's first clear the screen and this is the uh, command which we ran previously in order to start prometheus server and i'm going to run it again and it is saying that there is some error so we need to check uh, we need to check configuration file i think we made some mistake so let me go back to this configuration file of prometheus okay so let me check whether it was label or labels okay so it is labels save and exit and now we are going to start prometheus okay so this time prometheus is started successfully now what we can do is let's run this uh, command okay with our expression which is mentioned here and we should be able to now we should be able to see both the servers okay we should be able to see prometheus server and we should also be able to see node ex uh, server where we installed node exporter okay so i'm going to run it okay and here now you can see we already have a server coming here so this is the server where we installed uh, node exporter and you can see now we have we have the data coming from this server okay and one more thing now you can do is you can go to uh, status and you can go to targets and under the targets also you can see that uh, node exporter server is being shown here or not okay so here you can see we are successfully able to see node exporter here and also we are able to see that the status of this is up it means uh, Prometheus is able to successfully connect to the server where we have installed node exporter and it is able to collect all the matrix properly. So that's all in this video. Stay tuned. In next video, we are going to learn a lot of new stuff. If you haven't subscribed, stay subscribed so you can get the notification of the videos as soon as I upload them. Thank you so much for watching.